Hey loves, today we're gonna do a BH Cosmetics haul. They came out with a couple new things that I'm really excited about, so I wanted to share them with you. And a lot of you tagged me in the new foundation that was released and you wanted me to try it, so I ordered it right away. This is the new, we're just gonna jump in. Uh, this is the new BH Liquid Foundation Naturally Flawless. And I got mine in shade 201 Ivory. I have to say that this is the first one. I mean, don't quote me because I haven't put on my face yet, so I don't know if it oxidizes or deepens in color once it dries. But look how fair this shade is. Compared to the two, there's like the HD foundation and the original liquid foundation. I can work with the HD foundation. I mean, I can work with the liquid foundation too, but I have a feeling after swatching this guy that this one is going to be my favorite out of all of them. So this one, again, naturally flawless. Let me see if there's any sort of claims just says our new and improved bh liquid foundation now includes hyaluronic acid and helps keep skin hydrated that is amazing that something not to say something from bh cosmetics contains that but i love hyaluronic acid it helps your skin remain hydrated i need that most of my face is dry i have combo skin for anyone that's wondering lightweight formula imparts a natural looking sun finish and provides medium to full coverage the shade is beautiful. I, again, haven't put it on my face, but I love the packaging. It's got kind of that frosted glass. It's got a pump. I think it was like $8, $9. Um, I don't remember, but of course, it's Beach Cosmetics. It's very affordable. It's very hard to just get a little bit out, but look at how fair the shade is. That coverage too, though. Like, it's so smooth. I feel like a lot of foundations, once I swatch them, I have a feeling if I'm going to like them or not. And I feel like I'm going to like this one. There's not much of a scent to it, but you can see that shade right there. My hand is totally stained from, I've swatched a thousand things today. So please don't judge it by my hand. You can see like the bronziness and then my pale, pale arm. But comparing this to my face, I feel like it's going to be a good match. I might even be able to not use a mixer. I don't know yet, of course, but I'll eventually use this in a video. I have so many new things. Like all of the brands that I love the most are all releasing new stuff. So I'm very excited. So again, look at the shade. If you are fair like I am, you're going to be just as excited. This is definitely, again, the fairest foundation from BH Cosmetics that I've seen. Uh, I can't wait to use it. Thank you to all of you that tagged me and were like, bro, you got to try this. Oh, got it. Again, mine is in 201 Ivory, the lightest shade. Super impressed so far. Super impressed. Um, the next thing I'm going to pull out of here is the classic blush 10 color palette. I feel like this is new. Maybe they redid the original one. Maybe they just mean like classic blush shades. Um, it was on the new products page, so I just snagged it. My original blush palette that I have anyway, if it is the same, um, I broke one of them. So I don't mind having another one. I love the BH Cosmetics blushes. I remember I was obsessed with that palette before I broke it. Uh, so I'm good to have another one. This isn't the only one I own. I know they have more than one. But again, this is the classic blush palette. These are super affordable. I think they're like $10 or something crazy. And Beach Cosmetics always runs different sales. So sometimes stuff is more affordable than others. And sometimes it's cheaper. Sometimes it's more expensive. Uh, but it's always super affordable no matter what. Really excited about these shades. I wonder if this one, it's pretty neutral looking. But I'm wondering if I can use it as a contour if it's going to swatch pretty orange. Um, It's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's very neutral, which is nice. That would be nice if I could use it kind of to contour as like a contoury blush. Um, the one right next to it looks a little peachy satin. Ooh, that's pretty. It's pretty. I love, <laughs> it looks so boring, but I love blushes like this one that are very neutral because I am so bare. That's something that just gives a little bit of color, like works really well for me. And you guys know that I steer away from blushes just because I'm so fair and sometimes they just look crazy on me. I'm not wearing blush at all today. I'm just wearing a contour. Um, but I want a little crazy, a little crazy. Hopefully it's not as orange as it was last time. Um, but I just love a nude blush like that. I just feel like it's so And Here, I'll swatch the darkest ones too, because why not? These two down here. Ooh, that's some pigment. Again, I feel like these ones down here might be too much for my face my pale face but I could probably use most of these so those are the two darkest ones uh, but it's a very universal blush palette I like that there are those more fair shades down here and the kind of more bold shades down here I feel like calling it a classic blush palette is very accurate it's it's got 10 blushes for like 10 bucks it's like a dollar a blush you guys pigmented some might be a little too pigmented but that's okay it's okay use a light hand if you go too heavy just put some powder over it I definitely blended some powder on top of this contour today. I picked 
book. Two more of the Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealers. I got white and 100. These are two of their new shades. The white one you can use as a mixer, of course, or if you were that fair. Why not? By the time it mixes with your foundation, you can make it work. And then 100 is supposed to be lighter. I have 101. I love 101. I love that concealer so much. I am so impressed. Uh, here's the white one. Here's the packaging. I'm not 100% in love with the packaging just because it gets all over, but it's such a good product. I don't even care. I don't even care. I have a feeling this is going to be my new like go-to white concealer. When a concealer is too dark, I love mixing a white one. Just It's so pigmented. Look at that. I'm going to try this with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Absolutely love that concealer, but it does, it's it's like the same, once it sets, it's the same color as my skin tone. Um, and I like a brighter under eye, as you can tell, my under eyes are a little lighter than the rest of my face. I just like the highlighted look. I feel like it makes your under eyes look more youthful, personally. Um, and this is shade 100, which is supposed to be a little lighter than 101. I feel like it's a little more yellow, and the other one's a little more pinky. It just gets all over, it's like exploding in the cap, but you can see those two right there. All about both of these. I absolutely love this concealer. I assume this one, these ones are no different. Probably same formula, different shade. Uh, super excited. It's a little heavy because it's total coverage, super full coverage concealer. I love using it on my lid as an eyeshadow primer. It works great for that. There's a fuzzy flying around. Super excited about both of these. So affordable too. They were like, I think these were on sale when I ordered them. So they were only like $4 each, but I think even regular price are like six or eight bucks, which for a concealer, Cosmetic killing the game. Killing the game. Um, I picked up a primer because I don't own a primer from BH Cosmetics, at least I don't think I do. This is the Anti Shine BH Studio Pro. I'm not going to swatch it, but let's look at the packaging because it's a primer. It's a primer. I really like Anti Shine ones for my nose area. My whole face super dry, and then my nose is like a grease monster. So excited to try this primer. Plus, I figured I can do another BH Cosmetics one brand tutorial soon. I picked up the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. I don't even own the Take Me to Brazil palette. Whoa. But this one, just the reds in here were calling my name. I have heard so much about this. It's a pressed pigment palette, so they are super bright. Look at these. And it also comes with some neutral shades up here, just some very basic white, cream, and black. And like these, the red shade was like calling to me. The orange shade was calling to me. Those yellows, all about it. Super excited to play with this one. Let me swatch a few. I gotta swatch that red one. They definitely feel like pressed pigments, especially the matte one. That orange one I just swatched isn't as, it's like gotten a little bit of shimmer to it, so it's a little smoother, but definitely very dry and pigment feeling. If you guys have swatched pigments before, um, pressed pigments, they're very dry and like powdery, but they pack a punch. Very pigmented. Let's swatch this blue one. Same thing. I feel like they don't swatch as well as they will end up looking on the eye. There's a purpley one. So again, they don't swatch the best, but that might just be their pressed powder formula. Um, it comes with a mirror. Very cute palette. I think it was around $10, $12, something like that. Most of the palettes from BH Cosmetics are right around that price range. The last thing I actually paid for, the I have one more thing that was a gift. Um, I just picked up another one of the Eye Essential 7 Piece Brush Set. I have used all of these brushes before a million times, so I'm not going to take it out of here, but you can see the pictures. The pictures are going to be better than me showing you the actual brushes. Absolute favorite blending brush of life. This is like a softer version of the Sigma E40, which the Sigma E40 was like my jam for like four years, no joke. Only in the last like six months did I find this brush and I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I love all of these brushes. This is a great little brush kit if you are a beginner. I think I got it for my sister last year for Christmas and I bought myself one because I was like, why not? That looks good. Obsessed with all of it. I use most of these brushes now on a daily basis. I'm definitely not a brush snob. I have mostly Sigma is probably the most expensive that I have. I have some Morphe, but I mostly use BH Cosmetics and Coastal Sense brushes. Like they're just so good. So again, absolutely love this little kit. You get seven brushes. You get a, this one's great for brows. Um, it's just an angled liner brush. So this is the 101, the blending brush that I'm obsessed with. This is the 102, the large shader brush, small shader brush. I love this one for my under eye. Um, the angled blending brush, the pencil brush, the fine liner brush, and the small angled brush. So again, I like to use this one for my brows. 
I'll use these two for like my under eye area. Actually, like all four of these for my under eye area and my upper lid. Then this one I love to pat color on with. And then this one is just the blending brush, which I'm obsessed with. Best blending brush of life. I can't tell you enough. And then I got this little guy. And this one is the Midnight Affair 16 color eyeshadow palette. This one was just a free, free gift. I'm not going to swatch it because I probably will pass it along just because I'm not like I like purple shadows, but I I wouldn't reach for this palette on the daily and I am trying to get rid of some of my makeup So I'm just gonna pass them along to a friend or donate, but this is a very beautiful palette again Nothing wrong with the palette at all. It was just a free gift. So they just sent it. I didn't really ask for it uh, It's gorgeous. Just not like my everyday kind of palette. So it's not one that I really need You know, I assume you can buy these but it was a free gift. So I just wanted to show you guys that, which is cool because sometimes BH Cosmetics will have free shipping over a certain amount and then a free gift over a certain amount. So very cool. All right, love. So I think that is everything. Let me know what you're most excited about and what you want to see a video on. Of course, I will try and do one on the foundation soon. Very excited on those concealers and that Brazil palette. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, so I think that's everything. I love you guys so much. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and share it if you could. And if you want more BH Cosmetics videos, please let me know. All right, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon.